I wanted to make this video because of a Snapchat story I saw. Basically, I don't use Snapchat anymore because it's just full of boobs and ass. So I, I have like a, um, I have it installed just in case someone wants to message me or whatever. But I don't have notifications on, and I have the app One Sec on it, which basically when I go into it, it brings me to a another screen that tells me to take a deep breath and tells me when I last went on Snapchat and how many attempts I've made in the last 24 hours to try and use it and I think when I opened it it said like last used 176 hours so that's pretty decent but anyway I go on it because I'm just curious to see if I got any messages from people I haven't seen in a while or if someone's posted some <laughs> some boobs on the jumping story I don't know so I go on this one girl story and this girl was someone that I volunteered with in a charity shop when I desperately needed work experience and uh, it's a story about her and her friends going to Manchester so by the time I think by the time I saw that story they must be dead already <laughs> but I um, I look at the story and so the girl who made the story is also with another girl who we volunteered with at the charity shop and then some random guy that I don't know and the story is just basic like girl snapchat stuff they're just taking pictures of random things in shops even one where like in shops in the UK I don't know about America but we have like um, in like small supermarket stores you might have like a mirror in the top right corner that like looks over the whole so store so that the person behind the uh, cash register can see like if someone's stealing or doing something dodgy and obviously people take a picture of, of that in it and it's got this guy and this girl in it and the girl's taking the photo she's got her like cleavage out and it's just <laughs> it's, the guy's pulling some face like this like yeah. <laughs> it's just cringe um but there's more photos like that you know they went to get to eat and then the last the last photo on the story was basically they're in Manchester they're in the city centre and there's a statue basically they're taking a photo of the statue so the girl who made the story is taking the photo of the other two and they're, the two are taking a photo with a statue of a either World War 1 or World War 2 soldier and the soldier's wounded he's got crutches and got a pot on his leg and the other girl, she's on the left, and she pulls a face like this. <laughs> and the guy on the right, he's just stood there, like, thinking he's hard like this. And I had to stop for a second, and I thought, what? <laughs> like, degenerate is the word that came to mind, basically. Because... Like, you're taking a photo with a statue of someone who died for this country, who sacrificed their life in war, or became, obviously, severely injured because of war, and you're just there making TikTok faces and stupid things next to it, like... It's just dumb. Like... What are you trying to achieve? Like, do you have no respect for the people that sacrificed their lives and the people that wounded and gave up everything? So, the, like, if it wasn't for people like that, you wouldn't be here today. But anyway, that just that just annoyed me. It was it was just <laughs> so saddening to see that these people just have no respect for no respect for these kind of things. Me personally, I'm a traditionalist, but well, I call myself an open-minded traditionalist. So I'm not one of these people that's like saying you should do these things. You, you know, you need to be in this role. Women need to be in this role, and men need to be in this role. But a lot of the roles that I think I should fulfil are traditionalist, and because I feel like I should fulfil a masculine role and fall in love with a feminine woman. Now. Tradi trad eh, traditionalism, if I can say it correctly, is obviously something that's been completely lost in our modern society. 
And the reason for that is if we think back to when traditionalism was the norm, so 1950s, 60s, previous, basically, you know, societies, Western societies were very conservative back then. So obviously, you know, women were told that they should stay in the kitchen. Men had to go out and earn the money. And I think the problem with that society and why people are so they reject traditional values so much is because it was very restrictive. Basically, no people didn't have a choice. You sort of were put into a certain role, whether you liked it or not. And personally for me, I think, you know, do whatever the hell you want, as long as you're not hurting anyone. Although a lot of these degenerates are hurting themselves and it's just not healthy, but that's up to them. I can't, I'm not going down a deep hole with them. They can do what they want. But I think people should obviously just have the choice to what they do and then be responsible for the consequences afterwards and back in like the old days i guess there was a lot of women who although they there was a lot of women who liked traditional values and obviously there was a lot that didn't like traditional values and through movements like liberalism and liberal protests and feminism they were able to break out of that but now we've sort of gone to a we've gone from one extreme to the other where it's basically oh you know complete freedom you can do whatever the hell you want there's no god just just party your day live your best life and it's you can see that western civilization is just going downhill because we went from being too restrictive so now we're just too liberal and allowing people to, to do whatever the hell they want and now that's why you have teenagers posing in front of world war statues pulling stupid faces having no respect for the people that they represent now for me i think another thing is that among the young generation traditional values are just seen as cringe like religion is seen as cringy now in the uk Obviously, back in the day, the predominant religion is Christianity. And it was obviously the same in America as well and other Western countries. But people will make fun out of Christianity. They'll like, you know... I literally saw another Snapchat thing of this guy, this gay guy, who he just posts like memes criticizing Christianity. But I guaranteed if I like posted some criticizing gay people, then he'd just go mad. But that's i'm not homophobic or anything but it's it doesn't seem fair that he gets to post all that kind of stuff insulting christians and their beliefs when he's probably someone who tells people to be tolerant of his his beliefs but anyway i'm getting sidetracked <laughs> on snapchat and stupid stuff Oop, why and um religion i think a lot of people would benefit from religion because religion sort of it gives you a purpose in life it's the ultimate delayed gratification because you're you know like preventing yourself from your desires to allow yourself to go to heaven to have a a good afterlife and devote yourself to the uh, god above now i myself am uh, not religious i'm agnostic because I'm just not sure yet. There's nothing been that I've been found that I can prove that there's a God. But I have a lot of respect for religious people because I think they're the people who are keeping these traditional values alive and are becoming respectable human beings. But like I was saying, Christianity was the main religion in the UK. And now I guess people think just because Christianity was the most popular that they think that they can just make fun of it. Like people will just say Christianity is cringe. They'll just... Like that's just a youth, youth culture basically religions cringe but when you've got other religions such as like islam sikhism hinduism judaism like they'll make fun of christianity but they won't make fun of the other religions because they don't want to be seen as like you know racist or islamophobic or anti-semitic or stuff like that so they'll make fun of christian beliefs and there's a lot of overlap between religions there's a lot of you know there's stuff obviously there's stuff that they don't agree on but there's a lot of overlap in terms of habits and how you should pray and your respect to god and such like that but these degenerates they'll like 
they won't make fun of Islam because they're scared or they just can't be bothered to edu them, educate themselves. <laughs> they can't be bothered to educate well, can't, uh, can't be bothered to educate themselves on different religions. But what time we how long have I been yapping for? Ten minutes already, flipping it. But I think the l secularization has definitely been a thing that has allowed a rise in degeneracy because if you don't believe in God, then you sort of you know, you don't believe in heaven and hell. There's no consequence for your actions. If you think life's meaningless, you may as well go drink and vape and do all stupid crap. It's so sad. Like, I'll see in the street, it's like both men and women are degeneracy, but when I specifically see women, so li women are, through feminism and li liberalism have been liberated because it's progressive. And what liberated means is the, the way that I see, let's just talk about clothes quickly right clothes for women i either see girls who are wearing very masculine clothing like they're wearing jogging trousers and jacket jackets like this and hoodies and it's just i mean of course they're allowed to wear that but I, i'm just saying i'm not attracted to girls who wear masculine clothing and then on the flip side the girls that wear feminine clothing have hardly got anything on like they've got skirts that are like may as well they may as well just not wear the skirt because you can see right through it they're just wearing like stuff that's barely covering the breasts and it's <laughs> like <sighs> it's just like if you if i was to criticize a girl on it and i don't necessarily have the right to criticize but it's just th these people don't do anything with their lives and it's just like they just want a sense of importance as any human does right that's the one thing that all humans can have in common is we all just want a sense of importance some people get that sense of importance from doing good habits being dedicated to god you know respecting the family trying to find a good wife or husband and then the others are just into hookup culture vaping drinking smoking marijuana it's <laughs> uh Like everyone knows that it's bad. It's not. It's not. It's not socially acceptable, to like you know, well it is. It's hard now because there's still a culture of like let's say, if you sleep around for example, that's still frowned upon, but for a lot of people who are like in social circles, very popular in active social circles, going out clubbing, that's just what you do. Like you just. You just sleep with people that you have no connection with and that you're never going to see again. And to me, I think every time you do that, like you're doing the most sacred human act, the most sacred expression of love, which is sexual intercourse, and you're doing it with someone you don't love. Like, I think a part of your soul must die when that happens. Because you're... Ex like... Like, when you have sex with someone your body is a sort of intertwined you know you're connecting with that person on such a deep level that you can't any other way and then the next day you're just gone it's like oh breakfast yep see you it's disgusting honestly disgusting and it's becoming so hard to find like genuinely decent people that's why, you know, people on self-improvement are the minority and the majority of people are out drinking or are just complete losers. Like, in their, if they can't get int intimacy that way, they get it by chuffing, jerking off. and <sighs> It's not on. Not on now. <laughs> uh, I would say that is there is there hope for the future? Of course, not everyone's like this, but the majority of the youth if you just look around at your like classmates or just people in the street or whatever you'll notice that there's just a trend of everyone dresses the same everyone acts the same everyone's got this yolo like belief like oh i don't give a fuck man <laughs> like you're you're poisoning yourself basically these people are poisoning yourself if you're one of them may god have mercy on your soul like I said, I'm not religious, but if there is a God, you've got a lot to answer for. And it, would, it seems that these people, when they get older, so basically, let's say you've got, you've got degenerate guys who, when they get older, 
eventually, if you sleep with enough girls, you're going to get one of them pregnant. Like, it's, it's going to happen. Something that's going to happen eventually. You're going to forget to use protection or it's ineffective. And you're going to end up getting a girl pregnant. And that's when a lot of cowards would just leave. It's like, oh, get, oh sorry, I've got to go get some milk. Like, if you get a girl pregnant, it takes two to tango. You are now responsible for that child. At the very least, right, just be a father to that child. Don't think you're cool because you leave. It's always for the better if the kid has two parents, right? Single mothers are just... There's too many of them, in my opinion. Like, it's not impossible to raise a child by yourself, but it's always an optimum if you've got two parents there. And then for women... You know, it's it's the same thing. If they're in this hookup culture and doing de degenerate activities, they're going to end up one day falling pregnant. You know, maybe, they, like I said, they get pregnant and then the guy leaves or, you know, they're spending the, like, you know, early 20s or something trying to raise a child or they don't get pregnant, but obviously they can't be in a committed relationship because they're sleeping around and they do degenerate habits and they're, like getting guys that are just complete dickheads and it's they're gonna end up being what 30 late 30s still not married and then they'll just find any old idiot to settle down with and that's just it's just sad like your life's not fulfilled modern women modern men modern society it's going down the toilet and it's it seems to be in other countries i talk a lot about western civilization but there's also other civilizations that are becoming more westernized and whatever happened to just <laughs> women wearing decent clothes not showing too much skin obviously i'm not one of these it's like oh my god victorian you can't show your ankles but like i think it's wonderful when girls wear beautiful dresses and i think it's great when you've got like men who like actually dress decently aren't just wearing hoodies and tracksuit bottoms and just exchanging credibility for comfort but if anything if all of these people are degenerate it makes it easier for you if you're wanting to improve because if you become more attractive if you improve your style you're gonna be you're gonna essentially just stick out like a sore thumb everyone's gonna notice you instantly like that can't even click with gloves on as you can see <laughs> and then Sadly, you're going to obviously attract the degenerate women if you didn't get attraction from girls before. But if you're wanting to find a beautiful feminine woman, then she's going to make herself known to you if you're a high-value man. So thank you for listening to my rant, and I hope you take something from it. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Mwah.